So I've got a game for us to play before we go. So what we do is we're both gonna sit here. We go three, two, one, and we both say a random word that just comes to us, right? Okay. And then we have to try and find the correlation between those words. Three, two, one, cattle. Mud. Cattle. Dairy. What, what? You can... <laughs> <laughs> we gotta count it down again. <laughs> Three, two, one, farm. farm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit! Where's my good at this? One, two, three, jumper. Huh. Okay, ready? One, two, three, jumper Jump leads. leads. <laughs> yes! High five! Yes! Alright, I got it. Why are you so quick? <laughs> Not the first time I had a girl say, why are you so quick? <laughs> <laughs> one, two, three, toys. Hey. Toy yeah. hat. Got it? Yep. One, Wood. two. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Bad. One, two, three. Legos. Wood. One, two, three. Movies. Boat. Yeah. What'd you say? Boat. A boat. Yeah. Movie boat. Okay. Yeah, okay. You got this. Yeah. One, two, three. Titanic. Titanic. <laughs> the other day, Chanel and Andrew had someone around looking at their front yard, like a landscaper. Mm -hmm. And while they were doing that, Savannah wanted to go in her pram. And we go around the side of the house. And as we get around the side of the house, um, Savannah just goes, saw. And I go, what? She goes, saw. And I was like, where? She shows me a hand. She's got a little scratch on her hand. Okay. I was like, oh. I was like, kiss it better. And she just goes, I was like, is that better? She's like, yes. And then I stand up and I look across the road and there's a fucking lady across the road pushing her pram and she just goes, hi, how are you? Oh, oh she's so cute. And I was just like, ah, this is not my baby. <laughs> I was like, I went back around. I was like, Andrew, you know, I was like, your neighbor thinks that's my kid. <laughs> Poor lady's like, why does this child have two dads yeah. and a mom? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> this is a new part of the vlog called Jake and Bianca at the car wash. And I'm taking me shot like it's normal day. Yeah. Ooh. I fall apart. Down to my car. I was walking my brother home. Yeah. As we're like halfway home, there's a dude behind him just fucking passed out on the footpath. So I walk up to him, I'm like, mate, trying to wake him up. I'm like, mate, mate, mate. He finally just wakes up. Huh? And I was just like, what are you doing? Mm. Like, you all right, mate? Mm. And then I'm like, this cunt's not fucking moving, you know? He's he's just done it in the night, you know? I look on his fucking hand, and he's got a wedding ring. And I go, is that a wedding ring? He goes, mm. I go, where's your wife think you are tonight, mate? Come on. You can't be past that on the street, you know? I'm like, what's your name? He goes, Mark. I was like, Mark, we've got to get you home to your wife, mate. Can you stand up? Mm. He's just fucking pass out. He's just, he's not moving. He's done. I go, Mark, tell me your address. What do you want that for? I was like, I'll order you an Uber, Mark. You're too kind. Mark, so I put my phone out, get the Uber app up. So he finally spits his address out, and I give him the Uber thing, and I was like, which one's yours? And he presses the one that's his. I go, all right, listen, mate, the Uber's not far away. I'll wait with you. And as I get up to walk back over my brother, Mark just starts fucking spewing all over the Shit floor. Shit hot. Right? And I've just gone, he can't throw up in that Uber. I'm going to get the charge. They're going to charge me yeah. like a couple hundred bucks to so clear up his vomit. Straight up cancel on the spot. No. So I walk over to him and he finishes up his vomit, give him some water. I go, Mark, you can't throw up in the Uber. He goes, I can't throw up in the Uber. And I was just like, repeat after me. I've never thrown up in my life. He goes, I've never thrown up in my life. I was like, Mark, you need to stand up. I'm going to stand up. We need to walk away from the vomit. Stand up. He walks away from the vomit. I go, you've never thrown up in your life. I've never thrown up in my life. I threw up once when I was a little kid though. And I was like, that's fine. You were a little kid. Everyone throws up when they're a little kid, but not since you're an adult. You've never thrown up, have you? He's like, I've never thrown up in my life. And I was like, that's what I'm talking about, Mark. <laughs> the Uber gets here. I put him in the car, <laughs> so God, sits in the back seat, the Uber driver turns around and just goes, he can't throw up in here. <laughs> and Mark literally just goes, I've never thrown up in my life. <laughs> <laughs> if anyone knows a Mark from Geelong that is married and doesn't know how he got home on Saturday night, <laughs> tell him to hit me up. <laughs> We've got his address. We should go pay him a visit. Oh my, we should go visit him. Yeah, that's a great idea. So, uh, we're going to Mark's house. <laughs> <laughs> 
Imagine if you rock up there and some random guy opens the door and he goes, what are you talking about, mate? We were out all last weekend and we got home and our house was robbed. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, on the way home, I saw him on the side of the road and put him in an Uber, chucked him home. So I just got off the phone to Mark. Uh, bad news, he doesn't want to be in the video. He values his privacy and that is completely fair enough. <laughs> uh, the good news is he's alive. <laughs> <laughs> his wife also told us that he held his spew in through the Uber ride home, and then as soon as he got home, threw up in their kitchen. So what a man. he held what the a vomit. Go on, Mark. And from now on, within our group, anytime someone's so drunk they pass out on the footpath, we're going to call it pulling a Mark. <laughs> yeah, nice. Nearly pulled a Mark myself. <laughs> yeah. Must be done. Beers, beers, beers. Get on the beers, beers.